everyone and welcome back to Allbound. So to continue this series I'm going to show you how to set up the basic automation and then what we're going to do is run through some easy ways to get some gold coin ready for the next stage of automation which is automation 4 here. Now this one is key for making it fully automated because with the basic automation unfortunately you do have to keep feeding your steam so your water pumps and your boilers with coal manually for the start so we want to try and get 75,000 to start with so first of all what we're going to do is we're going to build a little platform for our storages so we're going to go ahead and just do this over here i think it will be a nice little area to do it we're just going to try and kind of get ourselves all sort of sorted and lined up here so we'll put our platform there to start with and then we can go ahead and stand on this platform and kind of join it all together so we're going to make a nice little platform here um we'll just go four by three i think should be plenty of room to start with we don't want to end up using too much wood so we'll go ahead and do that the placing down of the foundation is going to be a little bit finicky at times but that should be good to go so to start with what we're going to do is we are going to place down our belted storage just so we know where our belts are going to end up so we're going to have one over here for our iron we're going to space this one out a little bit more and then this one over here as well we're going to try and make it as uniform as possible and um, that looks pretty good there okay so that's our storage all set up so we've got our iron over here we have got a coal over here as well we've also got another iron so we might just utilize these two we've got a fair bit of land over here to kind of play around with with our machines and then our copper is just around the corner here as well so it all sets up nicely so next what we want to do is we want to set up our steam production to start with so what we'll probably do is build our steam production over here that way we haven't got too far to go so we're going to get some more platforms put down so we can just utilize these we can link these up um, so we'll go ahead and put some platforms down over here there we go i think that should be a plenty to start with okay so how the steam production works we want to head over here to steam power and water first of all we want the water pumps now there is a misconception and there are a lot of questions asking where are the water resources for the water pumps but believe it or not you don't actually need any water source for these water pumps which is very handy so we're going to leave them spaced out just a little bit because we will need to feed these with coal so we kind of need a little bit of access to them so we're going to go ahead and space them out a little bit there and then next what we need is the boilers so we're going to go ahead and grab these boilers and we're going to put these over here now you will notice a blue and an orange side so one will be water one will be steam so you want to make sure that the water is facing in the right or for these so there we go so that's nice and simple there and now we want to head back to our water pipes here which take iron ingots that's why i said you probably want some spare so we're going to join these up like that nice and easy so you also want to if you missed the last episode you can watch that one and that will showcase how to get everything set up and the best ways to get all the resources and how many resources you need to get your first stage of automation done and um, you do want to bear in mind that you do want about four stacks of coal as well just to power these because as you can see they take coal for the boilers and coal for the water pumps so you want to make sure you kind of get them in order as well so in regards to our actual machines we have a drill here and then for the iron and the copper not so much the coal we are going to need the auto crusher and we're going to need the smelter now these are all steam powered so we will need a steam splitter down here to split the two resources as well so one thing i would recommend doing is having a steam tank that will just create a backup of steam just in case your machines cut out when they run out of coal you will have a little bit of excess steam power sort of backing up the system so pretty much what i like to do is i like to put two splitters over here just like this and then what i will do from there is i will have a steam tank over in this direction or this side and we'll put another one over here for this side as well now what we're going to do is we're going to link these up as we go just to make things a little bit easier so what we're going to do is we're going to play and it's a little can be a little bit finicky at times but most of the time it's not too bad to kind of figure out you have to kind of play around a little bit and make sure things fit okay so after you've kind of fiddled around a little bit you should have something that looks pretty much like this so you've got the splitters 
and the boilers all joined up like that so you should have an extra two outlets just here which is perfect so next all we do is we need to make the drills and then everything else to go with it so we're going to head down here i'm only going to get that all set up okay so now we are down here what we can do is we can get rid of these portable oil drills for the coal and then what we can do is we can get our coal production in play first we kind of want to do this first of all um just to get the coal up and running because we are going to need the coal to fuel everything else so we want to head over to drills we want to head over to this drill just here and um, we just want to place it down basically pretty much um anywhere that you kind of see fit um so what i might do is place our drill kind of like this and then from this drill we can just basically belt straight from here all the way up to that one there we don't need any of the extras for this so we don't need any of the auto crusher um, or the smelter either for coal we will just be using the coal hole so from here what we can do is we can just head over to steam power we can get our copper pipe and we can just link our copper pipe directly up to this splitter up here and that leaves us with three extra that we can kind of play around with so what i like to do is kind of get it close to the ground as possible kind of leave us as much space as we possibly can um, what i might do is bring it all the way over here um, kind of leaves us enough room to kind of sort the rest of it out and we'll drag this over here i think and we can kind of rotate this round kind of make it look as clean as possible so we kind of need to go up into that direction over there so what we can do is if we are good about it we should be able to just go up to here um, up to the point where we can snap onto the other side of the water split and it should automatically just root it for us so we're going to go ahead and give that try so we're going to head over here and we can should be able to crouch down should be able to just basically link it to there like so so i'm going to fall down here probably take a little bit of damage but it's not too much of an issue and there we go we kind of have an ugly looking pipe system but we can easily cover that and kind of flatten this ground with the shovel or you can kind of do however you see fit so now that we have uh, that in place we can now go ahead and utilize our belts so that takes iron ingots to start with so we can kind of bring this over here um, and then what we'll do is kind of rotate it in this direction uh, we we'll probably want it about there um, that was probably a little bit too sharp but doesn't matter too much and then we can kind of bring the belt over to here so i don't think it's quite going to let us to go straight up how we want it to so we're going to kind of end it there and we're going to kind of go up like that perfect okay so that's our coal all sorted so what we want to do is head over here we want to fire up our water pumps and our boilers so we can get this all into production so we've got one active there and one active there so as you can see once we put the coal in we have plus 100 water and it will literally produce a water for us so as you can see we've got an input here so we just need to pop that in there um, we are being attacked by a goblin which isn't very nice because it will destroy our machines as we go but that's not to worry we can go ahead and do that as well so now we should have a steam output so as you see here our steam tanks are filling up quite nicely this one it's already full this one's filling up a bit slower because it is powering up our coal which you can see there coming into production and next we're going to sort out the iron so we're going to do the iron in a slightly different way because it is going to take a little bit more resources so what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the drill and we are going to pop a drill down again so we kind of want to utilize this space as much as possible um so what i think we'll do is we'll head over probably go i don't want to intrude too much on that coal because we will end up utilizing that at some point um okay so we have that there and then what we can do is we can go for the auto crusher and the smelter is quite big so we kind of want to leave as much room as possible for the smelter but we can go ahead and pop that one just here uh, once it gives us a little bit of land that we can actually put it on so that's perfect we can link this up here with our belt system and then next we have the smelter so we're going to go ahead and as you can see the smelter is quite big so what we can do is kind of face it um kind of facing in this direction i think will be a pretty good way to do it that'll give us a nice little bit of angle that way and then we can just go straight up to here we can go like that and we can kind of twist round up to there so although this belt looks a little bit funky 
don't worry about it too much it will still work so we're going to need steam power for this and we're also going to need steam power for the drill for the crusher and for the smelter now one thing you do don't want to forget about is setting up your smelter so you want to select the production and we want this for iron and then you also want to do the same for the crusher so we want to go to here and want to go to iron powder so now that's sorted we can get our steam production underway so the best way to do this is to get a steam splitter and we're just going to pop the splitter just here and then we can pipe everything up from here so we can go there to the drill we can go from this one and don't worry about it glitching through that kind of works in our favor it means we can just lay the pipes however we want to should automatically connect to them so we've got an input over that side as well so now that's all done we should be able to connect from this one and we'll just go straight down to here as well so we'll select our steam pipe and i think what we'll do is i kind of want to do this in a little bit of a neater way so i think what we'll do is we'll kind of come across here um, and then we'll kind of come to here and we will just run up these stairs and we will link them to the splitter up here so we'll go ahead and just jump over this gap and i think we'll just link that one to there like that so now all of this lot should be in production so we should see our iron ore going into our crusher that will turn into powder and should be in here to the smelter and go to our iron ingots so we're just going to repeat this process for the copper which is just over here so it's not a million miles away but we have got some copper over here we've also got some more coal and some more coal over here so i don't think we'll be running out of coal anymore time soon we've also got another bit of copper over there for our campsite it's another reason why i really like this seed we've got loads of nodes nearby so that's absolutely perfect so we could move the copper storage to over here but i kind of like it all in one place so we're kind of just going to run a belt um possibly up and over this way maybe and back down here um or we might just kind of i might just dig a pathway through here and just go straight through i think that might be the best way to do it so let's go ahead and get this copper all set up and sorted so what we could do first of all actually was kind of work in a backwards direction for this one we'll kind of grab our copper pipe from over here we'll kind of run that over this direction uh, we'll kind of bring it over here so we're not intruding too much and then what we would do is can also probably just go straight through the ground which is kind of pretty cool and just to there like that so it's kind of hidden underground already which works out quite nicely so we're going to head over here um oh, where did our pipe go so over there okay so we've got a little goblin so we'll just get rid of him very quickly um grab his walk skull as well um perfect okay and some skull soup as well so we'll grab that um we'll just grab this wood and we don't need anything else really um that's a small amount of coin nothing to really worry about too much so let's go ahead and get this done so i think what i'll do is i'll probably put the drill over in this direction i think um, we'll probably drop it down a little bit there we go and then we can probably get rid of this debris over here okay so now we've cleared that debris we've made ourselves a little bit more room now we'll go ahead and we'll do the same thing again we'll get our auto crusher out um i'll probably do it in this direction because then what i'm going to do is put the smelter over here facing this way so it's in the perfect orientation and then what we can go ahead and do is put our splitter here in the middle that will make that nice and easy and then we can just join all of these together uh, we'll just pop that one there and we'll go ahead and pop that one there and then we can go ahead and we can find our copper pipe that's kind of poking through here and uh, we'll bring this around and down on the floor like this there we go okay so that's all sorted and not to forget that we need to set these as well so let's set this crusher up and then we can go ahead and get the belts in position as well so that all done and now we can just go ahead belts all set up and they can start producing they have got a little backup as well so they don't have to go straight into storage straight away so what we're going to do now is we're going to dig a little tunnel over in this direction for our belt so we're just going to go in this direction i believe it was ah perfect okay so our belt can kind of go in this direction and kind of swing itself up there I think will be nice go ahead and make this a little bit deeper nice little tunnel for our belt system perfect okay so now all we need to do is as i said we need to kind of put our belts um over here so what we're going to do is kind of come across this way um 
kind of looked a little bit complicated now and uh, we'll go to there and then what we'll do is we'll come over this way and i think we'll rotate it slightly around here kind of need to end up going up to there without intruding too much on everything else so i think the best way to probably do this is to go um to here and then see how it looks if we kind of just put it up that way yeah that looks pretty good okay so let's go ahead and just check our boilers and everything so our water pumps will last quite a while with the coal and so will the steam production especially only running a little section like this but as long as we keep this all going um we should be pretty good now copper does seem to be slightly faster production than the iron does um but that's all good so we've now got our storage here we have plenty of coal as you can see we've already nearly got a stack of iron and we've nearly got a stack of copper so that will get it into basic production but what what we do want to aim for is basically doubling our production so as you can see our drill is doing pretty well there um, with making sure our crusher has got a full supply but we do kind of need to speed up the crushing process so we probably will need a couple more crushers now auto crushers they take a fair bit of iron plates and iron cogs we haven't got enough for it but we haven't got enough wood so we could do another one and then split them like that but that's the basics of automated and production in that way now we have got a stone um, deposit over here only a little small stone deposit over here just here look so we can do the same with that we can put a little draw on it but that's not too much of a worry so we can now get rid of these portable ore drills get ourselves some resources back and now we're going to go on to the best way to make a fair bit of money so we can finally unlock the automation four so one thing we can do is go ahead and work through some of these real simple easy quests so if you were following the first episode we have completed all of the beginning and the mining one isn't too bad to do um these ones here are pretty simple you can just buy them from this shop and make a small little coin purchase there of 250 um they do cost 100 each so buying them is not really worth it for the reward that you get um, you can find them around but it's up to you if you want to kind of explore and get them done so what we are going to focus more on is things like this so if we did build some more auto crushers and some more smelters we could unlock ourselves another 1500 coin but also another easy one to do is this one here they just wait a little while to accumulate some more copper and some more iron and we can unlock that one another 2000 coin here we can get the iron cogs and the plates so once we could if we want to be cheeky wait until this one's done complete that and then turn them iron ingots and then copper ingots into plates you will need a few more to obviously complete that and then the rest of them will come later on but you'll get to a couple of thousand for that nice and easy so the one thing I would recommend doing is, like I said, is building a few more of these smelters and these auto crushers. Now, we need three more of each. So you're kind of wondering what are the best resources to spend them on. So me personally, I would do an extra smelter, an extra crusher on the iron, but I would do two more on the copper. Now, the reason being why I would do that is because we head over here to the blacksmith and we go ahead and click on this menu up here. Now we've actually unlocked it with the automation. We've got copper pots and copper pans now these take the same amount of resources the copper ingots as the copper plate work and plates but as you can see these are worth 70 and these ones here are worth 80 so with the iron it's only worth 50 so the iron's not really profitable compared to the copper and my main focus would be on the copper just to get those out and earn yourself some extra cash so that's basically what we're going to do now we're going to probably have to produce a few more of the plates and the cogs for both the iron and the copper to do the smelters so we need three more crushers so we have enough plates for those that will leave us with 20 but also we need another three of those as well of the smelters so we will need an extra 40 iron plates so another stack of iron ingots for that um, we'll probably need to do another stack for the copper plates and to be on the safe side we'll do another stack of the iron cogs as well and that should give us plenty so we're going to go ahead and get our iron plates in production there that will give us 100 altogether um i can't remember how many we needed so we needed 30 for the crushers and 60 so 90 so yeah that will be perfect for the plates and then for the cogs what did we need we needed 45 
and then 30 so 75 for the iron cogs and we have 70 so we're not far off we could probably chuck a couple in here um maybe we'll just do we'll do half the stack here um we'll take we'll just put 30 that will give us 15 of the iron cogs which should be absolutely fine as we have 70 we do need to gather some more wood and then we need um 60 copper plates as well so we can just go ahead and grab some copper out of here in fact we have um a stack of copper in our inventory so that's pretty good once these are done we can go ahead and do that these are going to be the quickest um so once these are done we can go ahead and get our copper plates in production so we have got 30 so we only need to put down the 60 of the copper ingots for that so we've got our 15 iron cogs so we'll take those and um, we'll go ahead and put copper plates and we will do half of that and half again that will give us 73 and we'll just take some of these we'll just leave it at 60 so that should give us 30 copper plates with a little couple of extra so now what we're going to do is spend a little bit of time while we're waiting for all of those just to harvest a bit more of this luxurious wood that we've got um so we've got enough for what we need so we did need um 120 so we'll go for a couple of stacks of wood just so we've got a little bit extra because um, we also will need um, come to think of it we are going to need some more iron cogs and some more ingots as well for our splitters and our mergers because we will need them to make sure that they're all going into the right sort of containers so we better um end up doing some more cogs actually thinking about it now so let's see how much iron we have left over um so yeah we have got some iron ingots left over so i think what we'll do is we'll just chuck a stack of iron into here might as well get all of this iron smelted to be honest with you there's no point in us having a load of iron ore so we'll just get all that smelted i know we've got smelters down there but we might as well just utilize these before we get rid of them so we'll go ahead and get probably a stack more of the cogs just to make sure we've got a few um and a few copper left over as well so we're gonna go ahead and get some wood and wait for all that to be done so something that i would do in preparation for your few extra of the crushers and the smelters is that i would put down um, another water pump and a boiler just to make sure you've got enough steam because obviously the more machines you place down the more steam you're going to need now something else that i would also do as well in preparation is i would also go ahead and craft yourself another drill so you want another drill on your coal just because your coal um, usage now that you've got sort of six machines up there all needing coal i would kind of up this production just to make sure you have enough resources so we're going to go ahead and do that so i have got some extra resources sort of in preparation um for this so what we're going to do is pop that there um, what we're also going to do is kind of delete this copper pipe here and we're also going to need to put a splitter in it um, just here so we're going to do that so we're going to go ahead and grab our copper from here um, it's not going to let us connect to that kind of annoying uh, but we can do it that way so it's fine that worked out pretty nicely for us um, so we're going to go ahead and connect that one to there we're going to bring this one over to here and then what we're going to do is we are going to end up deleting this belt here um, we are going to then go into belts and we are going to do a merger so we're going to merge these two belts here um, into this one over here so and to go ahead and select that and pop that on there we're going to put this one um, into that side and we're going to just spin this one round into there so there we go we've kind of doubled our coal production so we are going to be plenty of this so that's pretty good and now we're just going to head back up and make sure we've got all the resources we need for our extra um smelters and everything like that so just to recap the things we will need we are going to need 120 wood which we have we're going to need 30 iron plates plus 60 so it's 90 we've got 85 at the moment so we probably are going to need a couple more of those i can't remember if i had any more in production um i haven't so let's pop them in there to get those done so they'll be sorted we need 45 iron cogs uh so we need 75 iron cogs in there i have got a few more i just need some more gold to put in there so that should give us um plenty in that respect uh we haven't got any more gold that's not good um which isn't good at all so let's 
figure out what we can sell. So uh, we could go ahead and sell those there. We'll just get rid of those. We'll get rid of the poor carcass. Um, we might as well get rid of all of this coal to be honest because we've got an absolute massive stack of it. So that will just give us some coal. Nice, quick, easy little bit of money that we kind of desperately needed. So that's pretty good. And um, we'll pop those in there and we've run out of gold as well. So I'll pop you in there. But that should give us enough plates and enough cogs. And all we need is um, 60 copper plates. So we're going to need some more copper as well. Um, so might as well grab a couple of stacks of iron because we're going to need those extra and might as well grab a couple of stacks of the copper as well and as you can see we've got plenty of coal ore um, we might as well grab some of this uh, we might as well grab get rid of that um, grab another stack there four five uh six hundred coal yeah so let's go ahead and make sure all of these are full um, just so we don't run out of production here um, these other ones are done quite recently so i'm not too worried about those but at least those are all full so that's pretty good going so once these resources are done we can get the rest of it built you? up and then i can showcase what that all looks like basically so one thing is it doesn't matter if you have extra iron cogs and extra copper plates because we are going to be utilizing those um for these extra quests here so obviously we need to complete this one so we can probably go ahead and grab another stack of copper um that should give us enough to complete this quest for some extra cash um so we can complete that so that's good we can put those into storage and then what else have we got so we will we'll end up completing that which is another 1500 and then this one here so for the copper plates and iron cogs I'm not too worried about focusing that on now because once we get the other smells then that down will increase the production um, but in the meantime, what we are going to do is we're going to get rid of all of these smelters. Because what we are going to do is have a whole line of blacksmiths here. So we could utilize our free time now and we can go ahead and get some of those done. They take iron ingots, which we have quite a few of so that's fine and also some wood, which uh, we have a fair bit of wood as well. Um, but we are going to need this wood for our crushers so we can go ahead and um, gather ourselves some more wood while waiting and we can go ahead and get some more blacksmith okay so now we have uh, six blacksmiths down which is absolutely perfect uh, it should be perfect for what we need so we're going to grab our copper plates and everything and then what we're going to do in the meantime is we're going to make um, this one here copper plates we're going to make this guy copper plates um, this guy complicates as well and then the rest we're going to make these iron cogs so we can go ahead and get that gold done and get ourselves some easy money so what we can do is we're going to have to spend some of this money that we have here um, once we kind of yeah we'll do that um, so what we need to do is we can split that to 250 um, we can split this to about 235 that would do there nicely we can split that one down and then we can split this one down and we should have enough money in these as well so yeah now we should have all the resources we need to finalize putting our extra smelters and extra crushers on our iron and our copper so we're going to go ahead and get that done so there we go we have double our production in our copper just there so we did have to add another splitter in we can provide steam to it all but that's the basic for it and i've also done the same over here for the iron as well now it doesn't all look pretty but it is definitely functional at the moment and we've got a double output of coal as well so that's all good so let's just go ahead and check our coal usage yeah coal's going pretty well as i said to start with you have to manually keep feeding all these boilers and everything but in our next unlock as we'll see over here in automation 4 um we will unlock the silver smelting and powder but we'll also unlock the auto water pump and the auto boiler so we can automatically feed them full of coal we've also got a constructor as well which we saves them in the blacksmith so that's kind of what we want to aim towards so we need 75,000 for all of that so now we're going to focus on this one here the 150 iron cogs and the 200 copper plates we're going to get that one out of the way that will give us 2,000 and then what we're basically going to do for the rest of it is just keep on producing copper pans 
and also we're going to do the iron tools as well just because that will tick off another quest on the list um in the mining i believe nope it's possibly in this one then um let's scroll down yeah this one here for another thousand coins and a nice bonus of 20 copper ingots as well so we can get that done that should give us a few thousand to work towards um looks like we do need another smelter because i've only crafted four out of the five so let's see if we've got enough um to make that we have okay perfect so what we can do we'll just pop that down there and then we can go ahead and we can complete this so not enough space in the inventory for our rewards because we're not going to need those for a bit um we've also got some copper ore and iron powder or we'll just chuck those in there for now we can probably sell them actually to be honest because we've got no need for them we'll just quickly sell them not really worth a lot of money but it will get them out of our inventory because we don't really need it so there we go and then we can go ahead and complete this now that's nice 1500 and then we can just go ahead and get rid of that and job done so at this moment in time we have 2000 so we're still quite a way off but we are going to be getting there very shortly so we're going to need a few more um copper plates we need 200 copper plates and it was 150 cogs was it um let's have a look we've done that one yeah 150 cogs so each stack will give us 50 so that will be 100 and we just need to do two more over here so we need two more stacks um of copper which hopefully we should have by now we have we can get those done at least once these two blacksmiths are finished we should have those all done and dusted so we'll go ahead and do that and then 150 iron cogs we have um 35 at the moment so we're going to need a couple of stacks of iron um we'll go for three stacks of iron i think and then that should basically give us 150 if we do each one of these blacksmiths or that is why i kind of chose um to have six blacksmiths so once all of these are done we can tick that quest off our list and then hopefully our copper production will be in full swing um it looks like it's increasing yeah quite rapidly not massively rapidly could possibly be a little bit quicker um but for now it will do pretty fine but yeah we've got and we've got quite a few coming through sort of every few seconds so it's not too bad it's not overly perfect but it's not bad either so what we are going to do while we wait for our resources to accumulate is we're going to invest in some banking. Now banking just makes um, storing your money and also using your money a little bit easier. So where we have to keep it in our chest and obviously it's limited storage and also we need to keep taking out of our quest to purchase stuff for instance like all of these and also the researchers the banking kind of eliminates all of that so we're going to unlock that and we're going to get one of those built but we're going to find a nice little place for it and i think just over here is going to be a nice little setup we'll put it way over here out the way and we can just sort of watch our gold grow so we're going to get ourselves a few foundations down um i kind of want to put them kind of level with this one down here or do we want it kind of raised a little bit so we can see our nice little gold production let's see if we can kind of situate this in the right position to where we want it um i think about there should be pretty good so we're going to go ahead and get this all set up um it won't allow us to do that perfect okay we probably will need some more wood but that's not too much of an issue we've got a stone here we will get rid of that stone and uh, we're just going to slowly build out our foundations like so sometimes it can be a little bit finicky on the whole building aspect but that's pretty good so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and go onto valuables i'm going to go for the dwarven bank so we are going to need some more wood so we're just going to quickly grab some wood shouldn't take us too long we only need 20 so a few trees and we should be good to go Oh, we're getting attacked by Goblin again. We're quite low on health because we haven't really been um, gathering any food or anything. But luckily, we've just got some there, so that's nice. Uh, we might as well eat that. It doesn't give us too much, but it will give us enough for now to tie us over a little bit. So I have noticed this ore over here, and I'm not exactly sure what it is. It, it looks like silver on the top, but I'm not entirely sure. I'm not sure if that's a good idea to come down here, to be honest. Um, nope, it's just iron. Nothing overly special, unfortunately. I thought that might have been silver, but we aren't so lucky for that. Okay, so now we have all the wood we need, we can get our bank down. So, we're going to place our bank 
just nicely here in the middle and then behind it what we are going to do is we're going to put some of these coin storages down now these coin storages um you will see very shortly what these coin storage do uh we're going to put a couple to the side here try and line them up nicely um with each other that fits pretty perfectly there um, we're going to do this one over here as well and perfect okay so we'll place um just eight down at the moment so that's pretty good and now we can kind of deposit all of our gold so we'll deposit all from inventory and we haven't got a lot we've only got there 1000 well, as you can see it displays nicely here so we can watch our fortune grow but the other thing i like about this is because it's in the vicinity of the area like this if we head to How the king's market help? for instance um we can go ahead and buy one of these so we're going to go ahead and buy one even though we haven't got any coin in our storage just here but that's because it's all kind of stored in the bank so we'll just we sell them meet. back and you can see that in our vault in the top left and um, the money's gone back into the bank so that's pretty good Welcome. so hopefully now Farewell, our resources will be done help. and we can um showcase the next handy idea with the banking and the vault situation so we'll just grab all of these resources so if we head over to the king's quest board we can now complete this but you will see our gold won't go into our inventory it will go straight into our vault so there you go 3393 and that's the other handy thing about doing the vault as well not really necessity but it does just speed things up a little bit and there you go we have a nice little gold pile now so now what we're Welcome. going to do is we are going to convert all of these to Very copper well, pounds um so we're going to go ahead and convert these all to copper pounds except for the last one um which we're going to do for iron tools because we need 200 of these so it's going to be a little bit of a slow process for this but that's not too much to worry about and um, we're just going to whack a load of stuff into our storage now um probably should place some torches down just to light up the area a little bit um so we can get rid of those and um, we can pop all those in there and um, we've got the plates in there as well uh, we can put the orc skulls in there and uh, we are going to put some wall torches down so let's go ahead and we're going to place some of these torches down here just so we can kind of see um light up the area a bit because we are kind of lacking in the lighting department so we'll just put some of these down just to kind of light the place up kind of get some out of the inventory as well which is quite nice uh, so we'll just pop a few of these around there we go that seems pretty good um okay so we've got a wall torch as well um can we place those down or that oh, we can perfect we've got even more so we might as well just pop all these down just so we can kind of see what we're doing there we go that lights up the place a little bit better so now all we're going to do is grab our copper so i'm going to grab as many of these as we can um, we've got five which is perfect that's five stacks and then what we're going to do is once all of these done we're going to showcase how much this is actually worth and you'll be very surprised that we'll take a very big chunk of what we're waiting for so we're aiming for the 75 000 and this is kind of the best way i've found to do it so our arm production is a little bit slow i wonder if our machines have all shut down no it seems like that's going ahead down there did we set these up properly i might not have set this one up properly i'm not sure what this is doing so that's definitely working um ah, we didn't set this production here which was very stupid of though now that's sorted we should be um getting a bit more iron production um that's my mistake everyone makes them though so that's not too much of an issue we can um get that pretty much sorted okay so all of our copper pans are done so we have just out of those four and it didn't take long at all probably no four minutes so not long at all to do that um so we have 200 altogether so we're going to sell those just see how much money we do make so without looking too quickly we have so 16,000 just for those so that's what i mean it won't take long at all to get to the next 75,000. so just continue on doing that and then you can join me in the next episode where we will go on to the full automation the automation four so we'll then end up looking for a bit of silver as well but first we're going to get the auto water pump the boilers and the construction set up as well so we can produce some iron tools and copper pots and everything and kind of get rid of all of these blacksmiths and having to do it manually so if you're liking the series so far make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe as well to follow along on the, this journey kind of a let's play tips and tricks kind of series it's been kryptonite here thank you for watching and i will see you in the next episode of Orbound.